Hello televiewers, especially kids and parents, welcome to Ag Amazing TV. I am Sir Jessica Sman and I will be your teacher in Science 4. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's go! For today's lesson, we will discuss the effects of force applied to an object. Force Daily we walk, run, play, sit, or stand. Force is either push and pull of an object as a result of its interactions. What changes happen to an object if we apply force on it? Example We have here an exercise, push and pull, this one is an example of force. How about this one? So when muscle contracts, this is also an example of force. We push and pull. Force changes shape of an object by applying force on it. We use bending, twisting, cutting, melting are some examples of applying forces that we discussed in the first quarter. Force changes size of an object. When force is applied to an object, the size of an object may change. Example this one. This one is an example of cutting. And also this one. Felding. These are also an example of effects of the force. Force changes the motion and the movement. So we have here two videos, dancing, we also use motion in dancing, and also boxing. We can do motion and force in boxing. Objects may move if we apply force on it. Example, basketball. So, in playing basketball, we need to move in order to drill the ball. Also, we need to stretch up in able to focus to shoot the ball. These are examples of exerting force. Force affects the way things or objects move. So if you use the force or if you exert force to an object, it will move. For example, this one, drilling a ball. So the girl is using he, uh, her force to move the ball. And this one, the billiards. Of course, in billiard games, you can use both to move the billiard balls. So remember, force is either push and pull. Which occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. Force can be or can also change the shape, size, and even the movement of the object. The size or the shape and the movement of an object may change when force is 
applied on it. So in force, if you exert force, accidents and injuries may occur. Could be avoided if you are carefully aware of the different safety measures your school implements. So here are the safety precautions to avoid injuries and accidents by using force. First, we need to have the gate of the playground must be wide enough to ensure that nobody would be trapped when there is a need to evacuate. For example, an uh, earthquake or a uh, fire, accidents in school. So we need to have a wide gate to avoid stampede. For example, this one. The gate is so wide. Next, the swing and slide must be placed at the same distance from each other. For example, this one and also at the back of the father or the daddy. So, this one is an example of the safety distance to avoid accidents and injury. And also this one. So it has physical distancing. Next. Safety precaution at school. Don't block the exit areas of the playground. So do not park cars and vehicles in a gate of the playgrounds to avoid stampede. And this one, there is no vehicles outside the playground. And also we have here the playground. So the, the guardians always guide uh, their uh, child. Safety precaution at school, do not run in the corridor and it face to avoid the stumble or fall. Sample this one. They talking while walking, but they are focused in their paths. Next, pass one at a time in going inside the classroom. To avoid accident and injuries, always one at a time in going to classroom. You can talk with your peers while waiting others to come in. Another safety precaution at school, do not step on the chairs, table, or climb up shelves. Focus on your classroom. And do not step on the chairs or play in your classroom. Next, avoid running when going out of the room. So once you're done, so go to your room or go out to your room silently.
Second, we have the safety at home. The safety must be observed everywhere, most especially in your houses. During pandemic, it, it is also where you stay spend most of the time. Games and physical activities you do outside cannot be played inside your homes. If you do, what may happen? Accidents may happen. The house is not playground and you have to follow orders for you to be safe inside your house. Here's an example. Number one, play with your toys with care, return them to their proper places after your through. So you need to return your toys in a proper places to avoid accidents. Number two, do not play habulan or running inside your house. You may bump into your vases, cabinets, and other appliances that might hurt you. Next, do not climb cabinets or step on the chairs and tables. Next, do not use your vases, figurines, and other display in your house. These are not toys. They are only there to display. Next, do not play in your stairs. You might fall down. Example this one. And also this one. Walk in your uh, stairs silently and gently. Uh, let us have an activity. Direction. Draw a smiley face if the situation shows practicing safety measures. If not, draw sad face. So for number one, skateboarding in a busy street. Number two, knowing the different fire or emergency exit in your school. Number three, ironing clothes with wet hands. Number four, playing with all batteries. And number five, wearing a helmet when biking. So I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Okay, let us answer this one. Okay, for number one, sad face. Number two, happy face. Number three, happy face or smiley face. Number four, sad face. And number five, happy face. Next, check the statement that shows safety measures at home and if not cross out check and cross number one play with your toys with care 
Number two, play hapulan inside your house. Number three, do not climb cabinets. Number four, do not play with bases or sharp objects. And number five, play in stairs. Ten seconds to answer. Okay, let us check your work. Number one, check, very good. Number two, cross, very good. Number three, check, very good. Number four, check, very good. Number five is X, very good. How many of you were able to get an amazing score? Very good! That's it for today. I hope that you learned your lesson well. Again, this is Sir Jessica Sman saying, Be an explorer, be a discoverer, be an amazing you. See you again next time. Bye-bye!